Coronavirus remains the most talked about issue both globally and locally, an indication that all aspects of life have been affected by this pandemic. Today, we take a look at internally displaced persons in different parts of Nigeria to ask how are they coping and what is happening with them. With me to make sense of this matter is Dr. Helen Tete joining us via Skype. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. So, People may feel overwhelmed uh, with their own vulnerability at this time, and yet we must continue to draw attention to the plight of the more vulnerable in society. What is the situation being faced by IDPs at this time, as far as you are aware? Okay, um, Benue is facing a more peculiar situation um, because we are having our camps fuller than it were before the pandemic. Um, if you have been following trends, there was just uh, another clash between Taraba State and some uh, communities in Benue. So that led to camps around the local, local government fuller than it was. Um, and then other camps, like I said, Benue has about 10 IDP camps on ground. Other camps are closed down so you won't have visitors coming in and out. Yeah, meaning that people who had um, means of livelihood, who were doing menial jobs, are no longer going out there to look for menial jobs. They are locked down within the camp, meaning more hunger, no visitors or limited visitors into the camp. Uh, so you find out that the camp is more like a, 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 a more secluded areas for people who are displaced, and that in itself is causing a lot of uh, psycho uh, psychological issues for the IDP. So what kind of support are they receiving? The president's speech uh, said at least, had at least acknowledged that some support was due them. Uh, well, for the federal government, no IDP camp in Benue have received anything from the federal government yet. I think they are still working on it or they are still joining down to Benue. But as of yesterday that I collect, went around with my staff and kept in touch with some IDPs, uh, managers, and SEMA in particular, the support from the federal government has not hit Benue yet. However, the state government uh, on their own, I gathered, went to mitigating some camps and uh, some level of um, food has been given to some IDP camps. And um, I think the COVID-19 committee also went, set up by the state government, went distributing hand sanitizers. That much is what has happened from the government's angle. In what ways do you think this uh, pandemic has aggravated, or rather is aggravating the conditions of the IDPs? Like I said, the IDPs have been the most um, vulnerable so now they, they are, if, if, if this whole society is locked down, they are more locked down. Um, they, 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 are, they, are, they are not having support as they should. Um, before now, support was coming in and out from mistreated individuals from other organizations. But now they are more limited to the government uh, efforts rather than individuals. And I don't think it should be so. What can the average citizen what do can... to support these ones at this time? There's so much we can do. Uh, the fact that the, the country is locking down does not mean our hearts, our compassion, compassionate hearts are locked down. For example, we have um, IDP camps where uh, their uh, ball holes are, are broken. Mean and this is a time they need water more, so persons can um, go service their boreholes. We're talking about hand washing. Not all of them have the the, the hand wash facility. We can do a lot of um, provision of soaps or liquid soap or hard soap or water stations for them to wash their hands or other sanitizers. We also can give them food. See, they are no longer going there to hustle for themselves and to argument what government used to do. We can send food to them, and much more than that. Oh. Can send encouraging oh. messages. 
for them to move on with their lives. I want to say thank you very much, Dr. Helling, uh, for the work that you do and for sharing your time with us on the news. You're welcome. It's my pleasure.